Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I'm going to show you how you can kind of simulate some ethnic strings, or at least some of the properties of them. Some things like, for example, the buzzing of the bridge you hear in maybe like a sitar or a tambura, or some of the differences in timbre you'll hear in different strings. So let's get started. So first we have a resonator here, and we have an exciter. This is just doing a simple sign sweep. You see here, I went over this in the other videos, but uh, you get the basic idea of what's happening. Okay, as going into the resonator, if we play it, you won't hear much. So what we need to do is actually increase the feedback. Let's turn the volume down so it doesn't get too loud. So that's cool, but I'm not really hearing the buzzing I want. So there's a few ways we can do this. One is I just turn this low pass almost all the way off like this. So you hear the buzzing and that's good. And you can adjust that however you want. Let me turn that down just a little bit. We heard that got rid of a lot of the buzzing, but there's something else we can do. So another way we can do this is by using the all pass. So what we're gonna do is just turn this on and if we turn this on, it's not gonna sound perfect, but you'll get the idea. You hear that wah, 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 wah. And that's the interference, but it's just too low in frequency. So we're gonna move it up, I don't know, around like 4,000 or so. And let's hear it now. I can hear some other notes in there that are which I may not want. And adjusting the resonance and the frequency will help you get it to where you want it. So you can adjust that however you want till you hear that. Like in some cases, like you can kind of always hear it, but in some cases, like, ah, it's not so bad. And it actually enhances it in some cases. But if you think, eh, I don't like that, all you have to do is just turn it off. And so let's move this low pass down a bit. You're probably thinking, okay, well, that's not good. That's not what I want at all. I want that buzziness in there. So let's find another way to do that. And so another way we can do that is actually this using the delay mod you're probably wondering okay what what does this do and this is a delay but it actually is modulated and it's modulated by the sidechain input in this case it's the resonator so what you're going to hear is a very fast modulation at the audio rate and it's going to be uh synced up the modulation rate is going to be equal to whatever note i play so if you hear it's going to sound like almost like a very fast buzzing it's going to be a little bit too much at these settings but let's hear it So that sounds okay, but it's too much. So there's two ways we can decrease it. One, just decreasing the max delay like this. And the other way is by using the depth. Now for me, that's actually all right. It's starting to sound like a tambura or something, or maybe a sitar. But as we move up the scale, I don't really like that. But you think, how do we get rid of that? And one thing is there's too much of the high frequencies coming in through the side chain. So one thing we can do is just add a filter basic in here, have it on low pass, turn the resonance down here. And let's just take this input one. Okay. Now from here, right click on delay mod, input two and steal the side chain just so it's not going out here. Now that we have this, I'm going to actually play it and let's hear what it sounds like. And that's because the frequency is down. So we can adjust it now.
wherever you set that is okay. And one good thing we can do with this is we can also set it using uh, the modulator. So for example, I might want to use the velocity. Set this to let's say three. So when I hit it hard, when I hit soft, actually let me change this so you can hear it a little bit better. Velocity shape, let's set that to zero. So now no matter how I hit it, it's gonna play loud. So here's when I hit it hard. Here's soft. So you can hear it. Oh, it's a bit bit of a difference there. So I can even move this down a little bit lower. You can hear the difference there. And of course I can increase that too if I want. Ooh, now, that's pretty good, but now let's work on the timbre. So, overall, I think it's not so bad, but let's say we think, uh, I actually want a little bit more of the first harmonic in here. And we need to use a filter for that. So, what we're going to use is not the low pass or high pass, we're going to use a comb filter. So, now let's listen to this. Off. You're probably thinking, you just moving up in octaves, but I'm actually not. What this is doing is it's actually emphasizing that first harmonic. So if I move the character down, you'll hear it change. Uh, one thing, don't move it all the way up to 100% or down to 0% because it's going to cause this feedback loop and it's going to go crazy. But let's just hear it as I slowly move it down. So, now this, I think we're getting pretty close to the sound of a tambura. Let's hear it. Now to me, that's sounding pretty good, and you can even go back in the resonator, I can turn this on if I want even more of that sound. What this is going to do, it's going to... Uh, actually add some inharmonic stuff to the upper octaves, which will make it sound a little bit even more real. So you can add that in if you want, and there's lots of other things to play with. But this is the basic idea. And of course, you might want to add a bandpass filter afterwards or someplace else in the chain. And one of the reasons you might want to do that is to if you think that high end is a little bit annoying, if I play up higher. That's a little bit too much. I might want to move that down. So I think, uh, let's add like a low pass filter here. Way too much. Turn this down but you get the basic idea and I think even better use is to take this high pass and move this down just so we can get a little bit less low end so if you want a thinner sounding string so like this So these are some basic variations. I didn't go into exactly how to create a sitar, or tambour or something. I might do that in the future. I'm actually working on that. But I hope this gives you some ideas of what you can do and how you can create some of those effects like changing the overall timbre using the comb filter or using the delay mod to create that buzzy sound that you sometimes hear in different stringed instruments. So if you like this, Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down below and check out all the other plugins at MelderProduction.com. Till next time, see you.